Welcome to the sixth International Trial de Montmartre, which is held at the Sacre Coeur in northern Paris. Once again, all the sections laid out on the streets. And here we have Martin Crossway making his international debut, riding in the Expert 2 class. Here's Wayne, just fat in the Mont after the overnight trip from uh, the last British Championship. Just making sure those brakes are nice and sharp. And Steve, it's quite early in the morning, already pulled. So on with a bit of pre-event psyching out. Mark there just showing a few tricks. And here once again the beautiful scenery. And the riders' presentation, introducing everybody to the crowd. Dougie looking a bit worried. Most of the top ten here today. French local man, Jean-Luc Nick too. But the first rider underway is Wayne Pons. Amos, as usual, doing a bit of showboating. So straight on with section one, up this very tricky staircase. Nick two there, just fighting it. But these top riders just don't put their feet down. Good start for the day. Amos getting a little bit throttle happy there. Nose diving, still getting away with it. In fact, this being one of Amos's last rides on the Mont, because for 95 he'll be riding for the Spanish beater team. Angel Garcia here, fully fit at this minute, has his fair share of injuries. He quite suits the gas gas and he'll be staying put. In fact, Montmartre this year, quite an easy event. So it's very important to keep your nerve and not chuck any silly marks away. Frenchman, John luc Nick too. He'll be switching camps next year. Been with the Beta Factory for many a year, but he's signed to ride Fantic. Just easing off down the fair drop there. A nice steady ride. I must not have in the best of seasons, but uh, with a change of machinery for 95, he'll be looking to move back up into the top half a dozen of the world. As you can see, doesn't really care what he's up to. Taking an easy prod, probably dropped him down two or three places, that one. showboating for the crowd is Amos. European champion Benitez there on that awesome step. Angel Garcia here looking quite serious. in the background, big crowds turned out again. Making light work of that. As usual, this event attracted a lot of international media coverage. 
and is aimed at putting on a show for the general public, not just the trials world. As you'll find at Montmartre, 90% of the people watching are just out for a Sunday walk. Dougie on to the last section of the lap. Quite a tricky drop in there. And once again, Martin's encouragement for carrying Doug through the section. Ace ride. Dougie there, just checking out the scores on all his rivals ahead. No, he's still in with a chance. Steve here on one of his last rides for the Beta Factory. Been with them four years, and he'll be changing mates going over to the Gas Gas. As to this man, he's leaving Beta, and he'll be swapping places with Amos, going back to where he started on the Montessa. Everybody's still reckoning he's capable of winning a world championship. And with a performance like he gave in Paris, backing that up. going for the same approach as Amos, taking his time and making sure he cleans it. That European champion again, Benitez, on the 330, having a bit of refusal there. Going back down into bottom gear. Nicely done. On to the one of the most spectacular hazards. Again, Martin shouting away at Dougie, but it's doing the job. Back with Garcia on these very grippy concrete tubes. They make these hazards look so easy. Steve there. now has been a bit of a arena specialist. Excellent there. This section overlooking the Paris skyline and Mark looking as smooth as ever. When Mark's flowing, his balance is second to none. One more clean to his punch card. It's that Frenchman again, jumping from cotton reel to cotton reel. Cheating there, going up on the sump. Doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as it's clean. Graham Jarvis on a bit of a high after his result yesterday at the 
British Championship, which he took his first win. And Graham, in fact, staying with Scorper next year. And he'll be hoping to go well up in the World Championships. Just saying he was all right at the back. They make these hazards look so easy. Doug's balance looking very similar to the Spanish. Rock steady. He was having a good day. Ponds in the distance. Swaps around a bit from a 250 to a 330. He likes this one with plenty of grunt. In fact, Pons in 95 will be riding the Italian Championship as he signed a deal with the Bilber team. Benitez here, looking in a spot of bother, stuck halfway up. But no such problems. Mark here showing you how easy it really is. Setting quick his time. Made the trip all the way from Spain, and he'll be happy as he's only put one foot down today. Restoring his confidence. Now the tricky part of the section is the line was vital. Riding that good, he could afford a smile. Italian man, first time I've seen him, San Benini. Psyching himself up. Quite a fair step now from no run up. Making sure that front wheel's in the right place. And easy does it. Steve there showing you the proper way to do that without going on the sump. He loves it. Martin there directing the traffic. Get 
little bit like my riding that is on the edge. And the other Italian, Donato Miglio. many years now. Donato wasting no time in this one. Section's been so easy. It was difficult to keep the concentration. Like I said before, a couple of marks dropped you down many places. Gabriela Ray, one of the Spanish Federation riders. So many good young riders coming up. Taking a slow approach up this one though. sections to me look so fierce they're just out for a Sunday afternoon ride out